Hello, I'm John Joe. Welcome to Lion War. This is another match between me and Solo looking at the picking phases of Lion War. As you can see, it's kind of a mess. This island is definitely the most beneficial island to have. And this island, not so much, but we both have good location on it, I guess. There's a big forest here. I like to infantry rush, so if I pick here, I'd be able to infantry rush him if he picked here as well. However, if he didn't pick here, I'd only get this relatively rubbish island but on this island if he picks here the only place he can really go is just at the bottom here if he went for this one he'd only have one territory if he went for this one it's the same again he could go for this island but there's kind of nothing on there so i very much doubt he would i probably could have picked better but i wanted to do absolutely minimal risk so i could either pick here and try to infantry rush him or if i did pick here then I would actually know whether he's there straight away and I could decide whether I could infantry rush him if he's there and if he's not I could decide to do something else. So that's what I do because this one is definitely the easiest location to tell straight away if he's there because I could pick these territories I would visually see instantly if I have to build barracks or build a town and another town. I don't know if I can build that one there. So that's push forward into the picking phase i'm looking at solar so on his side of the map he goes for two energy wells which is definitely the best option here if he did go here he could have rushed me which is what i was worried about <laughs> it wasn't so much that i could kill him quick it was more that he might try to quickly attack me but he does pick this side because of the energy wells and my logic was if he picks there i know where his energy is going to be they're right next to the coast i could target them with air units or i could target them with navy units Either way, I have a plan to attack based on where he is. And from my perspective, as you can see, I knew instantly where he was. I set up my commands first to give me that time to think about it. And I build a navy yard up here to try and get this energy well. There's another energy well up here. And there's two over here that I could grab along the way. So I'm going to turn off Fog of War. Both people's commands are showing now. Yep, yeah, there we go. So he's got two navy yards and he's going for transport boats. He's trying to get here straight away. There are two points of interest. I have seen the replay already. So he gets one of these navy yards to send boats up here. And the other one at the same time sending boats here. Which is actually quite good because that gives them two points to attack from. And maybe a distraction for me to get the other one up and running. I've got another navy yard yet uh, up and running now. But I don't yet have any energy here. So we have, do I have any energy in my control yet? No, but there's one here and there. So there's one in the forest and there's one up here, but I'm not interested in that too much. It's too close to the enemy and it's right next to the ocean. He can attack it in many different ways by land as an invasion, by air with commandos or by sea with any Navy unit apart from the submarine and transports. Actually, no, the transports could attack it. But you get my point. I don't care too much about that energy right away. I want to get these ones that are easier to protect. I say that loosely, uh, but you get the point. So I am expanding across here. He's going there. I will keep it in times two for now. So that we can get up into the battle. He's trying to spread out across this map. He's not trying to, his island. He's not trying to spend too much of an investment expanding. He's trying to get into my territory and get some foothold on here first, which is actually quite a good idea. Getting set up over here would be key because it's going to be harder to do when I control the entire island. He's not too worried about this island, but I can imagine as soon as he's taken over this island, that's what he's going to do next. He'll send like one or two transport boats just to get some infantry across there to get the land. But he does have an energy well set up already. And another thing he could do if it was a problem, which it's not. So if it was building up with infantry over here, he could send this on a haste command and it just get them in and out faster. And same for this one. For me, though, most of my units have collected the territory in my direct vicinity. We're now pushing through into the two pronged section of the island, which he is in both with artillery and infantry, and I'm pretty much solely with infantry, except for a couple of commandos dotted around. There's a reason I'm building some commandos. That's because this airfield 
is going to be for some transport jets. At least one. I can't remember if I actually invest more in that. But anyway, I've taken over some of the land here, waiting for some extra units. And I'm going to go for this territory over here soon. I'm going to collect some territories along the way. He is doing a quick scout off over here with a missile ship. That's coming in down this section. He's just going to try and scout me out, I think. He's probably got a good idea that I'm going here. That was a good prediction from him to check out this energy well. It could just be to scout what's over here, maybe get a good view on me. But I do think this is to target the energy well. I can hear shooting. There we go. So I sent in a few units first because it was te capturing territory. They separated a bit. I think I may have caught that a little late. So I bring my units back so they can build up in greater numbers first. I get some units from this group over here, letting them expand still because I didn't want to not push this area as well. I didn't know he was there, but I still wanted to expand and explore. But now I feel like I've got a good... I see he spreads out, actually. That's what causes me to attack then, so I was going to wait for more units. But he spread out a bit as he captured some territories. I take one off guard there, another one straight in. The artillery is spread out as well. This one's coming in for an attack, which means I can take it out quicker too. So that was just lucky timing for me. He's building up on this section. He thinks he can defend this one much better, which is absolutely true. And now I've taken over this territory over here, or I'm taking it. And he's got some units coming in over there. I've got one cruiser. I've spotted him now. As soon as I spotted that, I've come back to defend this energy well. I leave this cruiser over here because I need some support with these guys because I'm worried that he's going to overwhelm me in one section and I'm going to have to choke point this one off. And I really didn't want to do that. I really just needed to make sure that he's not going to be on this island for too long. So yeah, as you can see, I've got a striker coming out and now I've got a transport jet. That transport jet's going to be trying to do some major things for me. He's out of energy. So as I was defending, instead of waiting, I push for an attack as he's got... Those smoke coming out of his ships, which means he's taking extra damage from my units. And actually, I think that saved me because this is going to take a lot of damage here. It's on fire. If I didn't catch him earlier with that smoke in, that might have been a lot more difficult. And I might have actually lost that energy well. Either way, I've got another energy well up here. And I forgot I was in times two for so long. And I'm now going to move some units around this way. But he's taken off the light man there because he's struggling with energy. He's only got two energy wells, and there are some more to take, I think, just not on his island. Yeah, they're up here. And is there any further back? No, I don't think so. Yes, there's only these two he's got. Maybe these two, which are going to be contested. But yeah, so he's got a defensive line set up in the forest. I thought that this went into the forest and they were stealth, so I sent a cruiser just here to try and take them out. I spot a ship on its own. Just sat there in the water, so I go to quickly snipe that guy. But these guys, they're not going to come in to help. They're going to go and take out these sections. I was worried he was going to get some energy, and I'd never be able to get there again. So I wanted to just make sure that I take the territories. That way, if he takes them, I'll know that they've gone, because I won't own them anymore. And you might think that this is placed too close to the water... But it's in the mountains, so it's stealth. And my logic was, it's literally just in the reach of his energy well and this one. So that airfield can reach both of those energy wells. And that was the main point of it. So, <coughs> might have been a bit risky if he spots it. But, you know, energy is key in this game. And if I can take it out, that's what I'm going to do. So that transport jet should be on its way. It's gone. There it is. I'm a bit blind today. <laughs> so I get a good flyover. I can see his unit streaming into this section. I can see he's got two lines because they're coming from different areas. See, there you go. I've got the cruisers there taking out nothing in the forest. And then I bring in my artillery... With, well, units with my artillery into that section. And this energy well is completely... Free to attack. He's got no units there. And I don't remember if he sends units my way. Either way, over in this section. As you can see, he's trying to bring some units through. I think that's just where he's got too many units for this one single defensive line. So they're just going to push on through. 
And he has helicopters. I don't have any anti-air. Do I? No, I literally have no anti-air in this right now. But that one there is a SAM unit, I think. So I am switching in. But there we go. The oil wow does go down. And now I make a mistake here. I go straight for the other energy wow with these two commandos. I shouldn't have. I planned that this airfield can take on the energy wells. So these commandos would have been much better off going anywhere. Taking a single territory somewhere and building in it. <clears throat> Or even just hiding at the back over here, leaving it on a blue command so they don't take anything. And then waiting for another time to just walk into his base and take something out. Any of those would have been a better option than just walking them to their death. <clears throat> As you can see, he's getting his helicopters in line now. They're taking out my artillery pretty rapidly. And we do have a tank moving into this defensive line, which is actually probably not a bad thing. For me and my artillery are going to be able to outrange that and I can take it out pretty quick. However, if you pushed it forward, that would then be a bad thing for me. Up in the north, I nearly missed that. Okay, yeah, I did miss that. He did send in some missile ships. He took out my energy well. He's got no energy left over. And I have barely any um, income for the energy. Because I've just got this one energy well right now. But in his perspective, though, he does still have this one energy well up and running. My transport jet did try and go in there. I think it may have run out of energy too quick. No, it didn't. I can see dead bodies. My commandos died. So it did try. But it's not going to work. Another option could have been to just fill out transport jets in this. And to be honest, I don't use that enough. I could have sworn I was switching into Sam, but it doesn't matter. He actually said that killing his energy on that well with the commandos uh, was just a killer for his navy and his air units. And he knew that I was going to target the other energy well with it, so he thought they'd eventually lose it. And without energy on this map, he's not going to win. And that's kind of how he looked at it. So he gave him the white flag, and I managed to take him out just in the nick of time with some commandos. Thank you for watching. There are two videos on screen right now. Feel free to check them out and I'll see you there. Also in the comments, let me know how you start your games. When you pick the picking phase, do you go for eco, energy, or do you just do something else? Something a little bit more sly. I don't know. I like the ideas. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in one of those.